Are you a loan officer, processor, broker, and you want to be the next superstar in the mortgage industry? Well, what we heard today is many of the top lenders, some even own professional sports teams, they all started small. And they were even selling to some of our guests and now own NBA teams. But both of these guests started a company in the 80s with seven people or less and grew it to hundreds and even thousands of employees. So that means you can do it too. But the number one place to start is raw mentorage. And you get it all on this podcast. And I would say, get out your notepad and pen. This is the first time you heard it from me. Notepad, pen, and come. You are going to get advice on how to run a company from a cultural standpoint, from a P&L standpoint, and even you'll get from a customer relationship standpoint, you'll get the 10 commandments you need to be a better partner to your customers as well as your trusted advisor network. I would recommend you listen to this not once, not twice, but three times and then subscribe so you can listen to our future episodes as well. Today, we had a chance and opportunity to listen to Bill talk about the second company that he generated, which was Own It. And the problem with originators today is that you're not owning your business. You make a promise to your customer for 30 days, 40 days, maybe even six months while they're looking for a home, but you fail to follow up and you fail to ask for the business after the close, six months later, one year later. How long have you been doing this in the business? Have you been doing this since the pandemic and all of a sudden you're dry on business? Well, unfortunately, divorces, separations, those things have happened where you have opportunities for cash out refinances. And at the same time, you have opportunities to look at college graduations, new births, new families, and a transformational generational wealth transfer to go and help other families, kids, nephews, nieces, sons, daughters into generational wealth, into real estate. Uh, today, you know, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really did. And I think one thing uh, that I felt I, I was reinforced and made to feel like maybe we had the right concept. And, um, you know, certainly we expect to grow and any IMB should should always be considering that because if you're not, you're going backwards, of course. But it, it, it's probably in the right time to expand into areas that you're not so familiar with. Uh, maybe it is best to, in this environment, stay in your lane, improve your processes, improve your AI, as we talked about. This was awesome to be able to spend some time with originators. I spend time with companies all through the space. And one of the things that we talk about is building value, not only in yourself, but also in your business. You don't have to be big. I mean, better and doing it right is probably the right thing to do. And I had the opportunity today to share a bunch of ideas and things that have worked for me over a long period of time. And some are tried and true and some apply to digital AI and all the things that are changing around you. At the end of the day, one of the things that I think that's most important is investing and part of that is learning, constantly learning and being in front of uh, what I would say would be issues that affect this industry and then opportunities and things that you might see. And we are coming onto the biggest opportunity probably ever in mortgage banking, where you have interest rates that have gone way up, come down a little bit. You're going to have inventory begin to show up and you have scads and scads of tappable equity that's available to LOs. And the challenge we have is that we're tired, we're old, and you just got to get off and get ready because it's going to come.